perfect. In the world of baseball pitching, it's only occurred 23 times. There have been many near misses. Martinez, Lucina, Galarraga. But no game was so close to being perfect for so long and ended in such immediate misery than the one that took place Tuesday, May 26th, 1959. Harvey Haddix, the 33-year-old Pittsburgh left-hander, took to the mound at Milwaukee's County Stadium as his Pirates faced off against the Braves. 1959 was the first season the 14-year veteran spent with Pittsburgh after brief stops in St. Louis, Philadelphia, and Cincinnati. In his first full season, 1953, he was a 20-game winner and also led the league with six shutouts for the Cardinals. Also known as Kitten, a nickname given during his rookie year due to the younger resemblance of teammate Harry the Cat Brechin, Harvey claimed he had been under the weather the previous night and was having difficulty warming up prior to the contest. The visiting team arrived in Milwaukee early the same day and the windy, rainy conditions did not aid in his mental state. Yet he would stay ahead of the count on the majority of hitters he faced that evening and pitch for much longer than he or manager Danny Murtaugh figured. There were 19,000 in attendance and though the contest took only 2 hours and 54 minutes to play, 86 batters came to the plate through an astounding 13-inning pitching duel. I use the word perfect at this program start, so what does that have to do with Haddix? In one of the most impressive outings in pro baseball history, number 31 was perfect through the first 36 hitters or 12 complete innings. Throughout the game, Pittsburgh's defense was on high alert. Center fielder Bill Verdon made a nice catch early on to keep the scoreboard clean. And in the sixth, shortstop Dick Schofield stabbed a rocket off Johnny Logan's bat. Offensively though, the team sputtered. A long drive off of Bob Skinner's bat in the seventh inning was kept in the park by the stubborn wind. The Braves' Lou Burdett, already a star to Milwaukee faithful, winning the World Series MVP in 1957, pretty much matched Haddock's, at least in the no-runs department. The Braves' defense helped him tremendously, including turning three double plays. Pittsburgh put together multiple hits in the same inning just twice the entire game. It was turning into quite the goose egg showcase. Then, with one out in the bottom of the 13th, Pittsburgh third baseman Don Hoke was charged with a throwing error. First baseman Rocky Nelson was unable to scoop the ball cleanly out of the dirt, and pinch hitter Felix Mantilla was safe at first. Eddie Matthews bunted the runner to second, and Hank Aaron was then intentionally walked. Joe Adcock hit a long drive 375 feet over the right field fence for what appeared to be the game-winning three-run home run. However, Aaron, thinking the ball was a ground rule double and that Mantilla's run would be the only one that mattered, bounded straight into the team's dugout just after stepping on second base. Officials originally credited Adcock with a round tripper. Two days later, the official scoring was announced. Adcock was given a double for his efforts, the only hit surrendered by Haddix, Aaron was called out, and the final score was 1-0 Braves. One wonders if Adcock's hit was as dramatic as his four home run game in 1954 against the Dodgers, considering the former game's circumstances. Harvey's performance was memorable, but the books listed as just another game, and unfortunately for him, a loss. It would have been the first perfect game since Don Larson's 1956 World Series gem, and there wouldn't be another until Jim Bunnings in 1964. There were no official no-hitters thrown in either league in 1959. Haddix walked one and struck out eight in 12 and two-thirds official innings of work, with a pitch count of 115. Lou Burdett picked up his eighth win, going all 13 innings, giving up 12 hits but no runs. The Braves finished the season in second place, two games behind the Dodgers, and wouldn't make the playoffs until 1969. The Pirates were found in fourth place, nine games back of the lead, but would find a nice piece of hardware in their clubhouse by the end of the following season. Harvey Haddix finished his playing career with Baltimore and then coached for Pittsburgh in the early 1980s. He was a three-time All-Star and three-time Gold Glove Award winner. He was also the winning pitcher in two games of the 1960 World Series, including the historic final contest. He became champion that night, though perfection eluded him just the year before.